and welcome to another very special episode of Clutchcast. I'm Matt Schroyer, and I'm here with my good friend and project car, the BMW Z3 Roadster. Now, we're continuing on a theme of the coolant system refresh. Part of that theme includes uh, replacing the uh, thermostat, the pipes, the uh, water pump, and even the pulley. Now, the stock water pump pulley on, uh, on this motor, the M52TU, is actually made of plastic, and uh, that can get brittle with all the heat cycles over time and the aging involved. And really, you need to replace that pulley every time that you replace the uh, the water pump. You could always go with the same OEM uh, water pump pulley for your car. Uh, but for my car, for this coolant system upgrade, uh, I'm going to try to take things up a little bit. Um, I've got a nice aluminum Mishimoto radiator that's going in. A nice uh, Stewart Racing water pump that's going in, so I thought it would be a good idea to get a water pump pulley that is a little bit more substantial. Again, the uh, factory OEM pulley on this motor is made of plastic. It's a hefty part, but it's still made of plastic. But uh, as part of an upgrade, you can upgrade to a metal aluminum pulley, which is exactly what I want to do since I'm pairing this with a heftier Stewart racing water pump. It's more difficult to buy those pulleys individually, though it can be done. Uh, but what I've gone and done is actually get the kit from Rhine Automotive that includes uh, the belt for that pulley, which is just a Continental brand uh, replacement belt, and the upgraded uh, metal pulley for the water pump. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this right now and compare it to the original pulley right there that, uh, that came off the car. Here we have the original uh, plastic uh, BMW water pump pulley. Uh, you know, seems to be in pretty good condition, but uh, BMW does recommend that you replace these anytime that you're going to replace the, uh, the water pump and the rest of the coolant system. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Here is the replacement kit, Ryan Automotive. Let's see if I can get a part number here. Part number is PKW0002. Uh, water pump pulley kit. So it includes the, uh, let's see what it includes. All right. All right, here is the Continental belt that I was told so much about. Set that aside here for now. And, uh, hey, there's a little bit of, there's some information in here. Let's, let's see, the component alert, water pump pulley kits. It's recommended that a coating of anti-seize is used on the contact points indicated by the arrows between the water pump and pulley to prevent the galvanic corrosion between the two dissimilar metals. So it's assuming that, you know, the water pump you're going to put on is made of steel. This is aluminum. You want to put some anti-seize on. Open it up a bit. Hey, yeah, there it is. The, that's, the, that's the surface. That's the face of the water pump that you install the pulley on. It's just showing, hey, you know, you need to uh, put some anti-seize on there. Which we do have. We have some copper anti-seize that I'm going to use to actually install this. Now let's get down to business. Alright, here we go. We got the aluminum. Aluminum water pulley pump. Very nice. Very hefty unit. Ryan Automotive. So I would doubt this would ever have to be replaced again. Unlike the plastic OEM version. And, uh, hey, look, it's got the uh, the mounting hardware into it. I love it whenever they include the mounting hardware. Um, sometimes when companies include gaskets and mounting hardware, the gaskets aren't particularly nice, but uh, these these will, will more than suffice for the job. So it's nice that they threw all that in there. Again, I, I love the kits. You just It comes with everything that you need. So now something that I've been wanting to do is actually weigh these two because, uh, you know, you're replacing a plastic part relatively lightweight plastic part with something that's uh, metal and more substantial and heavier and more massive. Uh, how much how much weight are you adding to the car? What What is the mass that you're increasing uh, to get this done? Um, you want, you know, ideally to have the lightest weight pulleys that you can that you can put on a car that, that will last just as long as you need to. Um, so let's see, let's see what kind of uh, kind of difference we have in here. I stole some of my wife's equipment from the kitchen. Normally this is employed to, uh, to help bake things. Now it's uh, employed to measure car parts. So there you go. All right. That's the stock plastic pulley, 209 grams. Here we go. Metal pulley going on, 356. 
Well, how about that? So there you have it, a uh, 147 gram difference between this upgraded aluminum Ryan water pump pulley and the stock plastic. But you know what? For certain stuff, it's worth it. This is going to be driving a, a much heftier water pump, uh, much more massive than the original. helps to have a heftier water pump pulley to do that, so I'm very happy with this purchase. But you know what? i got to put it to the test. i got to install it and see if it uh, puts up with the abuse. I bet it will, uh, but that's going to be for another video. So there you have it, folks, a water pump pulley upgrade from Rhine Automotive. I'm going to go ahead and install this on my car and see if it's actually up to snuff. Uh, that's going to be for another video, though. Thank you for watching. We'll see you down the road.